I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this is episode is called Pattern Lessons in Critical Thinking Part 1 on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, Success, Confidence, and Thrive Coach, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and founder of the James Hendrick Empowerment. I believe that there are patterns to help us receive more. To help us live a better and extraordinary life right now. And I also believe that there are spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in everyday life. Isn't it something? I woke up this morning thinking that I may have a, um, a content glut, you know, like a dry, where I can't come up with something. And then something came to me, and it's like, why can't you put some of the lessons that, 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 you, that you've had over the years, along with some of the things that you've taught in, in Empower Your Pattern, and put them in a three-parter? I, I know, that sounds pretty dang exciting. Doesn't it? Doesn't it to you? Well, I'm glad. So I'm come, I want you to come along with me. And um, this is going to be a hard-hitting, fast-paced three-part that's all going to be released in one day. That way, anybody in, in Pattern Realm, this is one of those binge-listen uh, things. Or if you're on my James A. Hendrick School of Leadership YouTube channel uh, subscription it's it's a three parter um, podcast video. Of course, you know you won't be seeing you won't be seeing me on on video for that particular one. It'll be and it'll be an audio feed from Spreaker to to YouTube. Now, I want to give you some of the some of the. Uh, First of all, I'm going to talk to you about some of the genesis of Empower Your Pattern. How I developed, um, to some degree, some of my philosophy. For one thing, the Lord sets patterns that really, at this particular conjuncture in our lives... Is supposed to go against the grain of the culture. Okay, I'm just going to say, you know, just like my friend, my friend uh, uh, Michael, who's a priest who who uh, who has a show on, on my network. You know, his dichotomy is simple: get saved, or or or, or you'll go you'll go to hell. Now, I'm I'm not totally touting and promoting his his show, but at the same time, his show is is simple logic, and it goes against everything that our destructive, defiant culture uh, wants to hang on to. My show, Leahona Light, which I work in on, you know, almost like a, maybe four times a week. That show is countercultural because it deals with the patterns in the scripture. Of course, my philosophy is yes, get saved so you don't go to hell. But the fact of the matter is, um, And, and, and I'm not going to try to get all spiritual with you guys, and but but it is a part of everything I do. And, and you, you've heard me do a rant, a well-meaning rant, and I did very well, I might say, um, where I talked about the pat- pattern changes for self-made folks, where my faith is a part of everything I do, and it still is. But the fact of the matter is. The patterns are simple. 
and they go against everything that's going on in the defiant, uh, the destructive, defiant culture that is going on in the world around us. And so, that's 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 one lesson. Number two, part of the patterns mean that you need to put your pre preconceived ideas aside and have somewhat of your of your of, of an open mind. Many of you know I have a, a bachelor's degree in in political science. And let me tell you something, that, that training is is well ingrained in me. It's kind of like, well, yeah, political science, it's safe to talk about your ideology. Just don't become a reactive firebrand. And that's something I teach, I teach across the board. On this show, uh, and especially on my political show, the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. I think, I think it should be up to us to take an objective view and not to be so myopic as humans. I'll be honest with you, we, we are, because of our culture, we are becoming increasingly myopic and it scares me. And I'm not the only one. When I'm, when I'm going up to Utah and visit with, with uh, Bishop Dave, he says, you know, Given the political world anymore, it, it it scares me the way that they package messages just just enough to just make people angry. I think people have had enough of people packaging messages telling them to be scared and to be angry. That is not what James Hendrick Empowerment is about. I yes, I believe in telling the truth. And reporting the truth. But I also think that there's a line. You know, whether I a bunch of name calling and, you know, who said what on social media. To tell you the truth, I could care less. And that's what political science um, drew me. Because first week in political analysis class, I had a professor. I don't know whether he's still alive. Uh, his name, I used to give him the name Gregor Moore, but I'm going to go ahead and give his real name. His name was Russ Moore. And one of the things he said toward the end of that week, he said, President, this is in, in 1997, he says, President Clinton is getting inaugurated on Monday. He said, I want you to take that day off. <clears throat> if you care to, listen to it. He said, but if not, just at least get a copy. At least get a copy of his speech. Look at it with an open mind and, and analyze it with the tools that I've given you. That's what political science taught me. Whereas beforehand, I was studying journalism, and it was kind of like, you know, hey, we, well, we know, all know that, you know, we're supposed to have standards of objectivity, but uh, you can't editorialize, you know, this and this and this, and it may be, it may be true. And so, the difference between how they teach journalism and how they teach political science is like night, night and day. And so my, my political science training has taught me to have an open mind. Number three, most of the uh, most of the patterns that are set for success can be found in the scriptures. Yeah, now that, doesn't that sound kind of far out? But you know what? It is the simple truth. How many of you, people of faith, are reading your scriptures every day? I, I used to falter at doing that. 
And then I noticed how much my life was falling apart because it was not, uh, it was not in line with the patterns being set that God set for our success. It's not in line for that. Now, I want you to stay tuned. We're going to hold that thought. Share this with Mamas on Papas on everyone because we're going to be coming back with some more lessons in critical thinking. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. This is Jamie Hendricks saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can step up, step in. I mean, step up, step out, and step in to have what others can. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you guys. Trust me, this next part is going to be more and more interesting. God bless you guys.